So just start off by just passing the ball from side to side and see, making sure that you can try and control. So the bigger you have your hands spread out, the more that you're likely to control that ball. So if the ball's coming towards you, that your hand is what's going to initially control that ball. So if you can, start moving it a bit further apart. Okay, other way. So this is something that if you did have your own ball, you could do a lot of. So we let, let's do a figure of eight round our legs and let's just see if we can do a little bit more. <laughs> and then throw it up and drop it. <laughs> what you can do to help yourself catch that ball is to, um, how do you say it? Cushion it by bending, bringing your arm back and maybe bending your legs. So what we're looking at is to just try, well done, back to me. Okay, so you can do 20 of those, so aim your hand a bit higher. That's good. Don't make that step too far, because you might, that's better. Try and release the ball quicker, because you're stepping in and then you're releasing. And what you want is one motion, so that you're actually a bit quicker to release still. That's better. So that's good. And you're pushing. Whoops, see I told you I'm not very good at is when you release, they should both be at the same height. Your arms shouldn't be up here when you release, because if they are, then the ball's going to go up there. It's exactly the same as all those other passes. So, a nice quick push. Throughout tonight, we're going to be using all of these passes, and I'm going to continue to correct you and nag you. So, your bounce pass, exactly the same as a chest pass. And what you're, what you're looking to try and achieve when you give that bounce pass to Diana is that it lands in her hands. So if I give it two thirds, it's going to land just in our hands. Now, if you're like me and you don't particularly like doing a chest pass, you can do a bounce pass with just one hand. So I could, I might want to go round my player because I'm being defended. So you can just do it with one hand and that's just as effective. Do any of you um, get called up for footwork because you've, you've landed and you've dragged like that? You do. Does anybody else? Okay. The reason that that's happening, if you imagine that Louise is running at speed and I give her a ball, well she's caught that very well but she did. She still did find that she had to go forward like that because she was running at speed, she carried on running and she, she had a mental thought carried her forward. And if I now give her a ball that's in the air that means she has to elevate up, look what happens. Okay, she elevated up, it's a break because she goes up, she can't then carry on going forward, she just comes straight back down. That would eliminate you ever getting that footwork of dragging. So nice and catch and release. Good. Lovely, this is looking good. Great, stop. 